Today we're going to take a look at how to save a PowerPoint presentation as a PDF on our way to printing. We're going to do this for a couple of reasons. One, so that we can save the file in a format that is more compact. And secondly, so that we can try a couple of things with the layout of the slides on the printed page before we actually print it. That way save some printer ink. We'll start off by having the presentation open. Notice that we're using Office 2013 on Windows here, but it behaves the same way with Office 2007 and 2010 on Windows and Office 2011 on Mac. Again, with the presentation open, we're going to click on the File tab and choose Save As. We're going to save it into the same folder there where we opened the original presentation. But rather than saving it as a PD, as a PowerPoint presentation, we're going to click the Save As Type drop-down and choose PDF. Here I want to take a look at a couple of things. First of all, notice this minimum size option. This reduces the size of the PDF file by about half. It works really well for presentations and for documents that are largely text, uh, Word documents and so on. For documents that contain a lot of images, it doesn't work quite so well, but this, this works pretty well. The other thing we're going to do is click on this Options button. This gives us a chance to lay out the images of the, pres of the slides as they are on the paper. Uh, normally, you would print one slide per page. It's um, pretty expensive for printer ink because, you're, because these things are large. So we're going to change that and we're going to choose handouts instead of slides. And notice now that we've got six small images, uh, one for each slide, on each page. We can go to nine, which would uh, really jam them in there. If we choose three, we get these notes areas on the side. But for our purposes today, we're going to try six. We're also going to put a border around each of the slides so that it's a little clearer what is the slide and what isn't. With that set, we're going to click OK. And now we're going to click Save. And in just a moment, the PDF file will come up. And notice it looks pretty good. If we zoom out and see the whole of the page, we'll see that we've got six slides here. Notice up here we've got four pages instead of 21. Um, pretty good deal. So I think this, this would work for most people. Uh, printing fewer pages, but still being able to keep track of what's going on in each of the uh, slides. One last thing I want to show you before we call it a day. If you click on File, Print, which you would do if you're going to print it to your regular printer, notice up here where it says Print in Grayscale. That allows you to print in black and white. For documents and presentations that are largely text-based, that works quite well, and you may find that that's a good option for you. In this case, because we've got nice pictures of my grandkids in here, I want to uh, include colors. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to click Print, and we're all done. Um, I hope that this has been useful to you, and if you have any further questions, please be in touch.